Check out my sketches from earlier today. They may be the most important drawings I've done all day, but in some thoughts of life, they're kind of like nothing at all. <laughs> I've been trying something new and I wanted to share it with you and maybe you would like to try it too. So Drew, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, hit me with that harmonica music, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, otters and dragons and octopi, welcome to Camp Pencil Point, a place where we draw with nonsense and tomfoolery. And what you see over there might look like a lot of nonsense, but they are actually some very important sketches. So I saw this video the other day featuring the artist Tim Gula, and he demonstrated in this video something called the automatic drawing technique. And this video has been viewed over a million times. If you weren't one of these million viewers, you should definitely go check it out. Here is the technique. You clear your mind. And then you let your hand guide your pencil in drawing. And that's it. Don't think, just draw. It's as simple as that. This is a technique done by many great artists out there. That video alone cited Jack Kirby, Mobius, Kim Jong-gi, Alex Nino, and that's just a few. And then I came across this Instagram post by artist Dave Pimental, who is someone you should all follow. And he actually posted a handwritten note from his mentor, Walt Stanchfield. And Walt Stanchfield is someone you should look up to. And if you could find one of his books, I highly recommend buying it. Well, this handwritten note had some amazing advice on it. Suggestions like be loose, lose control. And don't be logical, don't even think. Just keep the story and the gesture in mind. The entire list is amazing. So check out Dave Pimentel on Instagram and you'll be able to check out his amazing artwork as well. Be loose, lose control. What a great sentence. What I love about the automatic drawing technique is the emphasis is not on producing an amazing piece of art. Rather, it is about becoming more in tune and a better artist. This is the core of what Camp Pencil Point is all about. Drawing with nonsense and tomfoolery. Or a more professional way to put it, drawing without intent, not for a specific goal. I know this goes against a lot of what you think out there. A lot of you think that the point of drawing is the end result. You have to create a masterpiece. It's like when you start your drawing and you say something like, I am going to draw the most beautiful and majestic dog ever drawn in the history of drawings. Well, let's take a step back and look at it a different way. In this technique, the act of drawing is the point of drawing. The journey is definitely more important than the destination. So I tried it, what Tim Gula did. Not copying what he drew, but the way he drew it. To be completely honest, this is really difficult because I always find my mind wandering and always wanting to overthink. I want lines to be something specific. A dog, a cat, a tree, a viking, a block of cheese. I draw a lot of cheese. <coughs> but the important part is to quiet those thoughts, to not let them overtake your drawing. When thoughts get too loud, they might spiral out of control. A bit like, hmm, this line looks wrong. I need to erase it. This should look like a tiger. Why does it not look like a tiger? Why am I so bad? Take these thoughts and put them aside for now. This will take a little bit of practice. I had to really practice it. I found myself wanting to put in the stress. I love how Walt Stanchfield put it. Don't even think. Take out the stress. If you think you need to be a trained artist to do this out there, Guess again. In fact, I invite everyone to please try this out once. You don't need special equipment, specific pencils, or archival paper to do this. You can use anything, really. This sketch was drawn on my iPad because it was the easiest to put into this video. In the Tim Gula video, he used a pencil and a pad of paper. He mentioned artists using brushes and ink. Just find something you're comfortable with using and go with it. Give yourself 20 or 30 minutes without interruption. Silence your phone and turn off your TV or computer. Or maybe find some ambient music that won't distract you. And here's the big one. Don't use your eraser. Don't remove lines. Erasing means you're thinking, reconsidering, correcting. So this sketch over here was done in about 30 minutes. I did have some background music. Yeah, it was frozen. And I set a timer to go off. 
I will admit it is difficult not to let those thoughts come in. It's still not easy and I've been practicing this for a few weeks now. I'm gonna post this completed sketch to my Instagram. But if you're trying this at home, don't feel like you need to post it to your social media. If you don't wanna share, it's quite all right. Because this is your journey and you're allowed to do whatever you want with it. I feel, I feel like this, drawing without intent, is just extremely important for so many of us. It brings forth everything that is good about drawing. Meditative neuron connection in its purest form. And it keeps the bad stuff away. Negative judging perfectionism. I encourage you to try this out. Like, like really try this out. Set yourself up for a 30 minute drawing once or twice a week and enjoy the journey. Check out camppencilpoint.com. You'll find links there on how you could watch all of our videos on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. And while you are there, please like, follow, and subscribe. You can check out my art by following me on Instagram. And I encourage you to follow all of the artists at Camp Pencil Point, and you can check out all of their cool art as well. As I wrap up that sketch down there, I encourage all of you to try this automatic drawing technique. And I encourage you to draw every day. The intent does not always have to be a masterpiece. It can be for practice or just to vent out your day. And as always, I thank you for joining me today. And let's make an effort not only to recognize, but to enjoy our journeys. Never stop creating and never stop inspiring. Until next time, everyone, let's draw something ridiculous.